And welcome back to the Connect for Windows SDK Beta Quick Starts. So this video is setting up your development environment. It's a short and sweet video, but we're going to refer to this video and all the other segments for the, the typical things you're going to need to do for every project. Now for this one, we're going to be using Windows Presentation Foundation to set up our environment. Um, but before we do that, uh, just a reminder where we are. Uh, we talked about the Connect sensor. And now we're going to set up our development environment. Um, and after this, we'll go in deep dive into camera fundamentals. So uh, uh, before we actually show just building your first project, a um, couple of things. Their samples have different requirements. So depending on which sample you want to use, there are some things that you'll want to install. For example, the DirectX samples require the DirectX SDK <coughs> and the DirectX runtime. The speech samples require the speech platform runtime and the Speech SDK. We also released the Microsoft Connect Speech Platform, and that's basically um, uh, the same uh, speech recognition that is actually in Xbox is now going to be available uh, to customers. One thing to note, though, uh, for the speech samples, they are required to use the x86 version. So even if you have a 64-bit machine, make sure to use the x86 version. OK. Um, oh, and one more thing, just on the speech applications, you can use the .NET Framework 4.0 Windows.Speech um, for Connect applications. Uh, the reason that we use the Microsoft Speech Platform is because the Speech Platform is actually more up to date and has more features, um, but you can do both. There's no, there's no um, requirement to use Microsoft Speech. The samples happen to use Microsoft Speech. All right, let's get into demos. So what I'm going to do is I have C Sharp Express. I'm going to create a new project. Uh, we can call this whatever we want. I'll just keep uh, the name WPF Application 1. And we're going to um, do the, these common tasks throughout all of our applications. So the first thing we want to do is add a reference. So right click, Add Reference, go to .NET. And again, this assumes you've already installed uh, the Connect SDK. Now I'm sorting alphabetically here, and uh, let me just zoom in, and I'll hit Microsoft .research .connect. So that's the library we want, and I'll zoom out, and we see that it's added here as well. Um, one more library. Uh, we're going to use this in a couple of applications, so I wanted to go ahead and just reference it here is the Coding for Fun Connect library. So this has uh, a couple helper um, libraries, methods, extension methods, and so forth um, to make your life easier. It's not a requirement, but I'm going to be using it for a couple of the samples. Um, in this case, it's a recent file. Uh, you can download it from c4fconnect.codeplex.com, and we'll have the link as well. So I'm just going to double click here to reference that library, and I see that it's referenced as well. OK, so with those references, um, I have a main window application. And in all my applications, I'm going to have a loaded and a closed event. So I'm going to jump to the Properties window. And let's just zoom in here. Um, so what we want to do, switch to the Event tabs. And I'll double click Loaded and just zoom out once we do. So that builds the loaded event. Switch back to Properties. Zoom back in, and this time we want the closed event. And double click. OK. So um, for all of our samples, we'll be doing uh, loaded and closed. And I'll show you exactly what we're going to do um, in just one second. The first thing I want to do is make sure um, we hit our using statements. So um, first thing we're going to do is just add a using statement for audio. Microsoft.research.connect.audio. Next is uh, Microsoft Research Connect .nui, and that's natural user interface. And uh, really, the NUI library has a runtime uh, runtime class that contains the things for moving, uh, uh, adjusting tilt, using cameras, um, and skeletal tracking. And that's what we're going to do next. So um, outside of the Windows loaded event, just outside of it, we're going to create a runtime class. And we'll call it newy equals new runtime. Um, next, on the window loaded event, we're going to call newy.initialize. 
And let me just um, hit Shift Alt Enter to full screen this. Nui dot initialize. And what's going to happen here is I am passing in runtime options. So I can say runtime options dot. For example, to use the color camera, I say use color. And you can use um, the pipe operator to have multiple runtime options. So in this case, I can do color and depth. Um, and we'll just zoom this out slightly. So when our window loads, this is going to initialize uh, the connect runtime and tell it, hey, we want to use the color camera and the depth camera. Um, now, one of the most important things to do is make sure you are uninitializing. So uninitialize on close. Um, and the reason why is because there are some resources that are kept um, um, and you need to make sure to close them. What you'll find is if you don't put that, Visual Studio will actually hang and keep a reference to um, the, I think it's the Nui instance helper, and uh, you'll actually have to do a full stop. Um, and that's because you haven't cleaned up your Nui. So if, if you do run into that, Nui.uninitialize is your friend. So uh, that's the basic libraries that we'll be using. Oh, one more. Um, once we get into using coding for fun, You'll see us everywhere using codingforfun.connect.wpf to access those extension methods. So um, we've added the references to the library. We've added the using statements. We've added the two uh, ways for us to initialize and uninitialize. And um, that's the basic setting up of a WPF application. And we're going to use it for the rest of the projects going forward. Thanks. Mm -hmm.